I'm doing this, I, I kind of balance my headspace on any given day between the different projects. Hey guys, so today I want to talk about something that's fairly basic in music, but I think it's overlooked a lot. And this is the workflow in terms of how many projects you're working on at once and what the phase of each project is in your workflow. This is a very important part of music production and making music, but it's something that can be really different from artist to artist depending on what type of music you're making and also depending on uh, what your role is, whether you're a musician or a producer or um, part of a band. So for myself, I do the production and I do the mixing and mastering. Now this isn't always the best case. Sometimes it's great to have objectivity from a different person who can do the mixing and the mastering on your songs. But for someone like me, who's a smaller artist, I don't have quite the funds available to do that. And also the mixing is pretty important to the sound of my songs. So I like to do that myself. The long story short is I like to work on about three different projects at any given time. And this allows me to have a song that's more in the production phase, a little bit earlier on, a song that's a song that I'm mixing, and then also a song that I have mastered, but I'm checking on different systems, I'm listening to it in my car, taking notes every few days, and finishing up the last one or two percent of that song. When doing this, I, I kind of balance my headspace on any given day between the different projects. So if I'm feeling in more of a creative mood, then I might work on the song that's earlier on and I have more control over bigger picture things. If my headspace is more detail oriented, then I could work on the mixing or the mastering project. Um, and then it also allows me to work on one song one day and then the next day take a break from this song and work on one of the other songs. And so when I come back to the, the first song, I have a lot more objectivity and a fresh set of ears to listen to that song. And if you take a few days off of a song, then you'll come back and a lot of times you'll be amazed at how many mistakes you can hear, how many ideas you'll come up with all of a sudden. So it's nice to balance a few different songs. Usually when I've tied up the last few notes on that song that I'm mastering, then I'll just have the two projects left. And if I can kind of advance those along to their next stages, then I can come in and do the creation part of a new song at that point. Kind of allows me to do jamming and just get some fun ideas out there. Now, after five years of music production, this is really the system that's worked well for me. And at certain times, I've had a lot more songs that I've been working on than three. And I've noticed that I will just keep on creating a new song, new idea, and I'll just work on it for a few days, a few weeks, and kind of get nowhere with it while I'm balancing all these other songs. And so it's kind of hard. You have to discipline yourself and realize that you're trying to complete your songs and not just start them. Now, like I mentioned before, um, working on these three songs kind of allows you to spread your time between them. If you're only working on one or maybe two projects, then you might get really sick of one of those songs and you'll lose objectivity and not really have a good idea on how to advance the song. So for me, it really comes down to about three projects at any time. That's kind of the optimal number for me to really balance my workload and be able to be creative on each of the projects. So I'd be curious to kind of hear what you guys do and how many songs you're making. Um, I'm sure for different musicians, there's different numbers. So let me know how many projects you guys are working on. I'm really curious to know. 